Okay, it's going. Hello! Good to see you all again. I am so glad to be here at Ryman Gardens. And I'm sitting in a perfect spot to really see all the things in nature that we can find. You know what? I love to collect things in nature. And most of my collections are in the pictures I take and in my memory. I wonder if you like to collect some things too. Can you think about some things that you've remembered that you've seen when you've been at Ryman Gardens? Maybe some flowers? Do you remember some of the fall leaves last fall? Hmm. Anyway, well, I have some things that I've collected on some of my outings. Look at here. I have a rock. Can you see what shape my rock is? I love to collect rocks that are the shape of parts. Here's something else I collected. Look, it's a tiny little seashell. I got that one from a beach. I bet you knew that. My grandchildren and I, we spent a lot of time earlier this summer on a beach looking for sea glass. I wonder if you've ever found any sea glass. It's glass that's been in the water for a long, long time, and it's not really clear anymore. It's kind of cloudy, and the edges of it are so smooth. Anyway, sometimes my collections end up in jars like this one this is an old peanut butter jar i bet you have a jar at your house sometime maybe an old peanut butter jar that you could put a few things in too today i have a story guess what it's called i'm very excited about this one it's called in a jar it's by deborah in a jar. Llewellyn was a collector. He collected things in jars. Look at Llewellyn has his jar. Can you see what he's collecting? I think now he's collecting leaves. <gasps> when he held a jar and peered inside, Llewellyn remembered all the wonderful things he had seen and done. He collected small, ordinary things. He collected buttercups. That's a kind of flower. He collected feathers and heart-shaped stones, just like me. One night, the sunset painted the sky the color of tart cherry syrup. Llewellyn ventured down to the shore with as many jars as he could carry. A little girl named Evelyn was there too. Llewellyn scooped that cherry light and when he was done, he gave one to Evelyn. Evelyn took the jar home, and to her surprise, it flowed through the night with the memory of that sunset. Do you remember a sunset that you could catch in a jar? Yeah. From then on, Llewellyn and Evelyn collected things together. They collected things hard to hold, like rainbows sound of the ocean and the wind just before the snow falls. They collected things you might think would not fit in, in a jar, but somehow they did. They're putting all those memories in the jar. They collected the wonders of winter, the newness of spring, Beautiful tulips, just like here at Ryman Gardens. And the long days and shadows of summer. There can be some lightning bugs or fireflies. Oh, 
over time, their jars fill the walls of Llewellyn's house. Look at all those jars! But one day, Evelyn had some sad news. Her family was moving to a new town. Too soon, it was time to say goodbye. I bet they're both feeling a little bit sad right now. With Evelyn gone, Llewellyn's heart felt like an empty jar. One night, Llewellyn lay awake. Falling stars glittered against the dark sky. He wondered if Evelyn could see them too. That gave him an idea. Llewellyn tiptoed out into the moonless night and collected the meteor shower in his jar. And the next day he prepared a package. He took it to the post office and it flew on an airplane all the way to Evelyn's house in the city. And when the box arrived and Evelyn opened that jar, the stars were in the night sky and fell all around her. Evelyn knew just what to do. She collected the sounds, the crowds, and the bright night lights of her new home and sent them all to Llewellyn. And so when the golden leaves of autumn began to fall once again, Llewellyn set out to collect a jar full for Evelyn. And a little boy named Max was there too. Luckily, Llewellyn had brought an empty jar. You know, it's kind of hard if our friends move away from us and look how they stay together with their jars and they remembered each other. It's so good when we can't be with our friends or maybe our family. Sometimes I get sad when I can't be with my grandchildren. But we remember all the good things that we've done together. And when I see my collection in my jar of some of my heart-shaped stones or seashells, it just makes me happy and remembering the times when we collected things together. Hmm, maybe you can find an empty jar. Ask your parents. See if they have any empty jars that you could collect something in. Until next time, we'll see you. Bye-bye.